Okay, hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Talk Time. So I just wanted to come out a bit later. In. Um, you know, I ha I finished up the research that I started yesterday. Having my iPad because I didn't Google Doc, so I like just sent it to myself so I can have it on the iPad. But yeah, I probably will print it out eventually just to keep you know everything together. But yeah, this one's about addiction, um, about drug and alcohol addiction mostly. Uh, well, primarily, but um. So yeah, that's a good sign. My sister was supposed to join me for this, but unfortunately she's not able to. But you know, if she wants to in the comments say anything, she's more than welcome to and I'll pin the comment. But yeah, let's get started. So, opiate, opi opioids are among the world's oldest drugs and can be traced back to the first century BC. Just giving you a little history. Opiates, you know, those you don't know, it's Oxycontin, Vicodin, Codeine, Morphine, and many others. So, you know, pretty much like painkillers type things. So, um, anyways, and the, f the four types of, you know, drugs I'm going to be talking about are heroin, meth, cocaine, and prescription. Because those are like the most common. Yes, and over Kelly, what, you might be thinking, Kelly, what about weed? I mean, weed's like not that much of a serious drug, even though I don't agree with it. It's not that much of a serious drug in my opinion. So, but anyways. Heroin highly addictive analgestic anal drug derived from morphine often used illicitly as a narcotic producing euphoria then symptoms now when i say symptoms i mean symptoms like effects like what happens when you're on it like how you feel so, so people who are on it slurred speech flushed skin a sense of happiness that seems unnatural nausea vomiting itching Eyes that appear sleepy or pinpoint or small pupils. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, if you know anyone who's, you know, like that a lot, then maybe say something to them, help them out. Um, okay, scroll. Ah, uh, whatever. Change your structure in psychology of the brain. Um, okay, so long term effects of heroin. Change your st structure in s psychology of the brain. Creating long term imbalances in neuronal and hormonal systems that are not easily reversed. Deterioration of the brain rate matter could affect decision making abilities and your ability to regulate behavior and responses to stressful situations. So that's heroin. Okay, next one cocaine. Derived from c coca or prepared synthetically used as an illegal stimulant and sometimes medically as a local anesthetic. So that is something that I use in an anesthetic. I did know that because my dad told me. Um, so, yeah, it is, you know. Um, so, symptoms are numbness of the throat and tongue if you snorted. Um, numbness of the mouth if, you, if it's smoked. And in, if you inject it, then numbness in the injection site. And these effects can last 10 to 30 minutes. It rises by temperature, blood pressure, and heart rate. Large amounts can cause over heating, strokes, and heart attack. Um, so yeah. And I forgot to mention, um, heroin, I believe, you, I know you can get a pill from, I don't know if you can snort it or inject, well, obviously inject it, because that's the fun thing. And I'm, I think you can smoke it, I should have Google it, but um, and I know I have an iPad, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you can smoke it. Um, I know you can you know, get a pill from, I do not know about snorting it. I think you could actually. So I, I feel like with any drug you can do any of the, any ways of taking it. Most drugs at least. I don't know about every single one, but I feel like most of them you can smoke it, take it as a pill, inject it, um, snort it. So, anyways, cocaine. Um, long term effects of cocaine could lead some body parts to not function correctly or work correctly. Organ damage from it can be severe or fatal. Could damage the brain, heart, kidneys. Lungs, sinuses, kid. Oh, yeah, brain, heart, lungs, sinuses, kidneys, gastrointestinal tract. So it's 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 fucked. I I would not recommend doing drugs, guys. I mean, we'll talk about how I feel at the end. But yeah, now we're on to meth. Methamphetamine, one form of the drug. Meth is, aka crystal meth, is one form of the drug methamphetamine. Yeah, that's what it's also known as. That's what meth is short for. Um. There are seven stages of meth when you're on it. Um, so, and the first one is, sorry. 
the rush, which is heart heart races and the metabolism, blood pressure, and pulse are, meaning like they go up, last and that can last up to thirty minutes. Um, and then the next one is the high, which aggressive makes you aggressively smart and becomes and you become argumentative. This can last to, for sixteen hours, for four to sixteen hours. Number three is the binge, which is urged to maintain the high last three to 15 days. So pretty much what you want, you want to maintain the high, meaning like you'll take it again just to stay high. Uh, where was I? Um, okay, that's last three, 15 days. Tweaking is the most dangerous one because you lose all sense of identity. You, can, you have intentions. You're convinced bugs are crawling under your skin, unable to sleep for days at a time in a complete psychotic state, excuse me. You see and you hear things are not there and it can be dangerous to, and they can, people in this state can be dangerous to themselves or to others. Um, the next is the crash, which the body shuts down, unable to cope with the drug effects. So pretty much what happens, you sleep for long periods of time. This can last one to two days. Meth hangover, um, next one is meth hangover, do, do, you're in a do, disoriented state, I don't know why I can speak, um, you're starved, dehydrated, and utterly tired, um, uh, you're tired physically, mentally, and emotionally. This can last for 2 to 14 days, uh, last is withdrawal. 30 to 90 days this will um will pass before you realize you are withdrawing and you become depressed you have loss of energy and the ability to experience pleasure then the craving hits so you start wanting it again and that can make people become suicidal and it's extremely painful to go through withdrawals that's why a lot of people in rehab will relapse because it's just so painful so that's a sad one um the long term effect of meth you can have get anxiety, brain damage, cognitive deficiency, confusion, death from overdose, depression, high blood pressure, irritability, kidney damage, impaired verbal learning, infections of the heart, insomnia, liver damage, lung disease, malnutrition, memory loss, mood disturbances, nerve damage in the brain, nervousness, poor hygiene, repetitive movements like twitching, slow motor speed, stroke, suppressed immune system, withdraw. Um, so yeah, that's meth. Meth is dangerous. I would say meth might be worse than heroin. Because heroin, you know, is up like the seven stages. It's not, doesn't, you know. I mean, they're both bad. Don't do them. You know, don't get talked into doing them. And be careful because people can trick you. They can say, oh, hey, smoke this. It's going weed. And it could end up being meth or heroin. Like, just be careful. Be smart. You know. Um, prescription drugs. Abuse of prescribed drugs. Um, mostly painkillers. Now it's just kind of like my definition because that's what it basically is. Um, it's just, for, um, that's, you know, because a lot of people, at least what I've seen and stuff, it's like, that's how it starts off. They get addicted to painkillers because, you know, people usually, when they get painkillers, if they get, have an injury or like after surgery, they'll take them and get addicted and then, when, because they get harder to get, so they go for cheaper stuff, you know, that's why they go, end up going you know more dangerous stuff like cocaine heroin meth lsd all these other types of drugs so if you are on the painkillers be careful take it when you need it do not take it if you don't need it um yeah anyway so yeah that's how addiction starts so, so. um i couldn't really find much on prescription drugs but yeah like how it makes you feel obviously you know makes you feel high but Anyways, um, now I'm on to alcoholism. So I was just talking about drugs and all that, which it's pretty dangerous. Be careful with drugs because a lot of people overdose on them. And that's, uh, I feel like that's like a leading cause of death a lot of times. Alcoholism is uncontrollable drinking. So when you drink like every day and then there's different types like there's weakened alcoholics and stuff. I don't know other types, so I just know that. Um, which I meant to look into that and I just forgot. Because just so much and symptoms of you know for alcoholics are but um for body blackout dizziness shakiness craving or sweating for behavior they're aggressive they have no agitated compulsive behavior 
or lack of res restraint, mood, they have anxiety, euphoria, general dis discontent, guilt, or loneliness. Then other common stuff, physical substance dependence, problems with coordination, slurred speech, or tr tremor. Um, long term, uh, diminished gray matter and life matter in the brain, memory loss, loss of attention span, trouble learning, alcoholic hepatitis, liver fibrosis, steatosis, throat, mouth, larynx, breast, liver, chronic or esophageal cancer, high blood pressure, cardiomyopathy, can't say that word, stroke, irregular heartbeat. Um, and then you know, I, oh, then you know, if you do have a problem, you go rehab, there's outpatient, inpatient. I think it depends. I feel like inpatient might be better because when you're outpatient, you know, it's like you just go to meetings. At least when you're staying in a place, it'd be easy for you, I feel like, because, you know, if you're staying in a place, then it'd be hard for you to get drugs. I'm not saying, like, you can't, but I feel like it would be harder. So I would recommend inpatient. I mean, it depends, you know, how bad it is if you... If you like you you catch it in the beginning stages, then maybe you can handle our patient. I mean, I think it's all, you know, up to the person if they can handle it or not. What they can handle, and just be honest with yourself. If you know you can't handle it, then don't. You know, you gotta do what's best for you. Think about people love you. Um, another fact that my mom told me that when you get off alcohol, that you can actually die from the withdrawal symptoms. They they can be so serious, but drugs you can't. Like when you withdraw, like I know heroin, you, you withdraw from heroin, you just feel like you have the flu. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, you know, maybe someone in your family has addiction, unfortunately for me. I'm not going to get into it, but, yeah. Anyways, um, so you know, it's a tough thing to go through to watch someone, you know, you love go down that road. Oh, and you know, it's just hard. You can't force them to get better. All you can do is support them and trust that they know they'll do the right thing at the end because, um, you know, and, and if you're someone who does that stuff, think about your family. You know, think about how much they love you, you know, and they don't tell you th these things to hurt you or upset you to tell them because they love you and they want you to get better. They want you to die because... You know, a lot of people accidentally overdose, especially heroin now. There's the fentanyl and the heroin, and that's what's making people overdose, and that's what's causing the deaths. So I'm just, I'm just asking you guys, you know, be happy. You know, don't do drugs. You don't need drugs. You don't need alcohol to be happy. Be smart about these things because you have family who loves you, and they don't want to lose you, and, yeah. And it's a tough thing to watch, and, you know, but, yeah. Alright, guys, that's on me. Like, when I wet my eyes out, because, like, I was about to cry. Just my eyes are itchy. I don't want you guys to think that. But it is hard. You know, it can kind of break you in some ways. And yeah, but sometimes you just, you know, honestly, sometimes the best thing you can do is just walk away. Because, you know, when you're watching someone do it, 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 it hurts you and, like, it consumes you. And that's not good either to let it consume you. But it's hard not to when you love the person so much. And you watch them slowly kill themselves. But, I mean, what can you do? You know, you gotta... It's either you can live your life, you know, with staying in their lives and watching them hurt yourself. Or you can walk away. You know, but sometimes, you know, not everyone's strong enough to do that. But, you know... Sometimes that can be the best thing for you, even though you don't want to. Sometimes you may have to. And it sucks, but that's life. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, let's pick the next topic for next week. Um, not looking, not looking. Man, I hate drugs. Drugs suck, guys. Say, oh, damn it, I dropped it. Yeah, do it. Say no to drugs. Because it's not going to, you know, doing drugs and drinking, it, it's going to lead you to nowhere, but, you know, it's not going to lead you anywhere good. Anyways, next, for next week's talk time, bullying. Oh, that's a good one. Um, that's next week's topic, guys. And I was thinking too, um, even after I do these 20 episodes, if there's any other topics you want me to talk about, I would do more. Um, but I would wait until we get close to the end, because maybe... 
there's a topic that you want me to talk about then. I already have written down it's in here. But um yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this week, number two, because that could be one next week because next Friday's Christmas. Um but the following Friday we get back to normal. Maybe I can have my sister join the next one. Like I said, if she wants to say anything in the comments, she's more than welcome to. Um but yeah. If you see someone going down a wrong path, help them out, say something. You know. I pray. You know, praying can help too. But yeah, I love you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Follow me on my socials. Follow Colin and uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Rizmi Hashtag AGP. Subscribe to Always Unsure Druggy. Jesse has been posting on Twitter like videos. He posted one of Jenny's like health update after she had her surgery. He posted one today. Um, there was like two there in his yard. He was like videoing it. So you can watch that on his Twitter. Go follow him on Twitter. To keep up date what's going on in his life and his story fire. Hope he uploads soon. I miss his videos. But yeah. I love you guys so much. Please, please come. And I hope you guys watch these. Because I put a lot of work into these. And yeah. And also you can look up statistics. I was trying to find statistics. And I couldn't really find good ones. So. And that's why I sure couldn't find good ones. But like. Anyways. I encourage you to look more into this. Because there's a whole lot of other more information out there more than this one i gave you guys but that's just you know a little bit so you guys can be knowledge and know the signs and maybe you can maybe there's someone in your life that has some of these signs you know you can be the one that helps them get them on the right path before it's too late anyways love you guys so much my randomers please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace